Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun videos here on YouTube. It's time to continue our beginner's guides. So let's talk a little bit more about what we can do to escape any type of attacks. Now, what I'm about to show you probably should be only used on light waves because I don't think it's something that's going to be used essentially far into the future if you are looking to survive in DST. However, if you are afraid of a lot of the things that are about to attack you, you can pretty much do anything you want here. So let's go ahead and showcase what it is. This is an item that I rarely use in DST other than to basically just disguise myself and look funny. But essentially what you can do is you can create a disguise that'll get you away from anything other than shadows. What is that? Well, it is none other than the bush hat. You can create it by using the alchemy machine and it requires one bush, berry bush, I should say. It requires one rope, which is three grass and a straw hat, which is essentially 12. So a bunch of grass, let's say 15 grass to create this and one berry bush. Upon doing so, it'll create a bush hat. Now, here's the thing about a bush hat. There are ways to get this to work in, in your favor. For example, the first hound wave, I showcased how easy it is to kill it. But if you were scared of a lot of things, and let's just say there's a bunch of beefalo around me. So let's go ahead and spawn some in. All right, so we got our beefalo. Whoops, sorry, beefalo. And we're going to spawn in 10 of them because we'd like to be nice and accompanied by a bunch of beefalo. Hello, beefalo. I'm going to hang out right next to you, okay? But here's the thing. If hounds are about to show up, they are going to target the player, and most mobs generally do this as well. The bush hat will not protect you against shadows, however, you've got to be a little bit cautious because depending on the actual thing that's about to attack you, essentially what's going to happen is when it does show up, if it's already targeting you, it's going to continue to target you even if you have your bush hat. So what I probably would recommend doing is if you're going to experiment a little bit about this, get yourself a little log armor. As I showed in my previous video, all it is is just eight logs and two rope and you're perfectly set. So now let's hide among the beefalo. This is something I don't recommend doing, but once again, if you decide that you want to do it, feel free. I'm going to act as if the sp the hounds are about to show up. Sorry, spawn. Hounds. And let's make five as if it would normally spawn in. Essentially, you're going to only get two hounds. So let's just do two just to showcase what you normally would get in an actual hound wave for the first one. So as I press enter, the first set of hounds are going to spawn in. They don't know where I'm at, so they're essentially just going to run after every other mob. So yeah, the hounds are showing up, but they don't care. The thing is, as soon as they get out of my cover, they still don't care. So let's do this again. This time I have my bush hat on my head. I'm not doing anything, but let's go ahead and make the disguise without actually wearing it. Here we go, hounds spawn in, and they are essentially targeting me, or well, getting towards me anyways. They're on my way through, and they are now targeting the beefalo. So no matter what, being next to the beefalo will obviously help. But what happens when you're not near the beefalo? What happens when you are basically by yourself? So here we go. There's no mobs around. There's nothing for the hounds to target. Let's go ahead and see what happens. For the sake of this video, I'm going to equip myself with a nice trusty spear. And here we go. Hounds decide to show up. Once again, we decide to see what ha will happen. They show up. There's nothing around except for myself. And as they come closer, they're going to hit me. If I jump into this bush, they are still targeting me. So it does not matter if I'm hiding or not. So let's go ahead and kill them and reset. As I mentioned, if you decide to test this out, please do so with wearing a log suit. This time, I'm hiding. I'm going to go ahead and spawn them in one more time just to showcase exactly what will happen. As I'm sitting here hiding in my bush hat, as they decide to come and approach me. They know I'm here, but they just don't know where. Because essentially what's happening is the hounds are already targeting myself upon getting into the actual game. They can't actually hit me because I don't, I'm not a hittable character as of right now because I'm stuck behind a bush hat and they literally cannot attack the bush. The trouble is at this point is of course that the hounds need to get distracted by other mobs. Essentially right now one is attacking a clockwork, one is going after a bird. So it does give you a little bit of time to kind of, you know, essentially call for backup or hope that they decide to attack something different. And now I can get away. Now. If I am going to do this and a Deerclops, for example, decides to show up, let's go ahead and showcase what will happen there. Deerclops shows up, it's already pissed off and doing whatever it needs to do, and it's walking away. But if I am outside of here and a Deerclops shows up, just like it normally would and normally would spawn in, as it spawns in, it is now going to roam around just like normal. 
Now, if you have the Deerclops that is essentially going to target you and you're still behind the bush hat, you, it just depends on what mob is essentially going to attack you. So that's why, like I said, if I go near the Deerclops, it's going to auto aggro me as it is right now. And now it's aggroing me entirely. Inside mod is essentially a mod that I use that's showcasing this thing around it, which is telling me that this creature is basically going after me. If I decide to jump into my bush hat, it's still targeting me. Its destination is set to actually attack me, so until it's finished doing that, it's not going to stop. So let's get it to attack me, and then let's try running away and see what happens. As I do that, I'm going to jump back into my bush hat, and as you can see, it begins to unaggro. So yes, it just depends on exactly what mob we're dealing with, and there's so many different mobs out there, but the bush hat is a good way of essentially just kind of hiding. It also can be a fun way to make to basically trick your friends, especially if they're trying to pick all the berry bushes to the side of a base. You can sit there and watch them try to have a fun time as they get closer and closer and realize that they can't pick the berry bush. But otherwise, it's a fun little utility to use. I don't really recommend using it that often for actually getting away from mobs because I think you should learn how to fight mobs. However, if you don't want to do that and you just want to have a fun time and try to escape them, I just make sure that if you decide to do this during, for example, summertime and you're inside of your base, it's a highly thing that I would not recommend doing that because your hounds are essentially just going to go running around until they can find something. And if they decide to actually fight something and then they die, they're going to they can potentially set your base on fire or attack other things that are inside of your base, for example, glomer, stuff like that. So if you decide to use this for any specific reason, try to do it near a beefalo area, try to do it near like maybe where you're essentially fighting stuff if you watch my guide on how to make a little battle arena. But nonetheless, have a fun time. I'll see you in the next one.